What the hell was that? Hello, Rasa. Rasa, get me the hell out of here! I'm not letting you out of there until you finish the video. Look, I know I don't do that many review videos, but this is getting a little bit overboard. There's something bigger out there that you need to do, and I'm not just gonna let you stand there and do what the hell are you doing with your phone. I'm using my phone. I cut off all ties for you to contact the outside world, so there's no purpose of letting you use them. No. Today's Saturday. I have to talk about Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel. Give me a moment. Do the vlog, but you are still going to do the video when it's done. Thank you. Let me finish watching this. Hey everyone, Ross here. Welcome back to the Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel Vlog with the episode Making Waves, which has two meanings for this episode. And uh, before I even talk about the episode, this whole episode was cluster would be the right word to give it. Not cluster fuck, cluster. They had so many things going on and yet you kept going, wait, what, 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 what? I'm pretty sure you could have just hacked some of the things you really didn't need off of it and it could have done a better job with it. The whole episode simply, the rangers are at the beach area because there's a fishing contest. And because there's a fishing contest and the winner would receive a trophy, Victor and Monty are entered into the contest. At the same time, the rangers are seeing Haley's father, who's a marine biologist and he made a submarine. His idea was to enter in a contest, try to capture the fish, and he does it in a non-painful way. You know, like instead of using a fishing rod, and a hook, he's going to use a net. And I'm not going to, I don't know about the mechanics of fishing, what's the difference between a net and a fishing rod, so I'm not going to go criticize and judge it. But the moment he puts the submarine that he created into the water, it caught something and malfunctioned. And that exact same moment, Sarah's mom shows up and because of the fact that she's an inventor and he has a device that needs to be fixed, they actually get along perfectly well, which made me go, wait a minute, didn't Haley has a mom? She was mentioned in that election episode. Are they, is her parents divorced? I don't know what is with the habit of all the Rangers having single parents. I'm being honest. Brody has, Brody and Levi have their dad. Sarah has her mom, Preston just has his dad, and now Haley either lives with her mom or dad. What are they? Like I said, I don't know if they're divorced. The only thing we don't know is Alvin's family. I'm pretty sure he just lives with one parent. Just being honest. What is with them and single parents? Well, what the submarine hit was a tidal wave device. Odious's idea was to flood the city, which, okay, that could work, but your goal is to get the ninja stars. You don't think that the, and the ranger Zord, we do not know how big it is compared to a tidal wave they're hoping for. Couldn't they just get into the Zord to get away from the tidal wave, or is it trying to lure them into the trap? But you also remember, Odious, they have a Zord mode that can go into space. Hmm. Now that you start, now that you take a step back and start thinking, why don't these rangers just get in their Megazord, turn into space mode, fly into the space, and shoot the ship out of orbit? At least some more questions than answers. What? Well, whatever. Well, this is more of a Haley and Sarah episode, so the guys are just need, are going to be spending most of the time Finding out what the, the submarine caught and broke. While at the same time, Sarah's mom and Haley's dad are getting along to the point where they go on a date. And both girls find it awkward and they decide to ruin the date and enjoy it. How they ruin it? 
Sarah's mom doesn't like weird food. And the suggestion was, feed her a grasshopper. Okay. And for Haley's dad, he has motion sickness. The idea? Put him on a merry-go-round and get him s nauseous. Yeah, that was the whole idea. While well, for the whole tidal wave idea, the rangers find out what's going on, they hide out while Madonna shows up, they're talking to the monster of the week, Doom Wave. Try again with these names. I'm being honest. And basically, Madonna was just there, just so the rangers could hear what the idea was. And what the whole tidal wave plan is. They fight, I mean, well, they morph, fight, beat the minions while Doomwave grabs the machine and runs into the water. And their only idea is, we need to get the submarine repaired! To which, Sarah and Haley are going, oh crap, we screwed up. Yeah, for, because of how I screwed up, because of the fact that they ruined the date, both, of, both parents don't want to fix the submarine. Huh. And, yeah, Mick does the whole, even trying to do the whole call him out with that whole lesson, you don't need to break up a team, which, they apologize, they admit it, they, they were sorry about doing it. Sorry, I'm just rubbing my head because of the whole stupidity of this whole episode. I didn't even bring up the comedy skit of Victor and Monty. They literally have Monty making a lure to catch the fish. He throws it into water, he catches something, Victor takes the pole off of Monty, and then gets pulled into the water being jet skied across. That's it. That's the whole comedic skit for that moment. Then what the Rangers did, they decided to morph, call both the par both the parents back in, and tell them that the Rangers need their help to fix the submarine, which, what, are they too ashamed to tell their parents that, uh, Mom? I'm a ranger, or dad, I'm a ranger. I mean, for God's sakes, Levi and Brody's dad knows they're rangers. Then again, he was a ranger at one point, but still. Are they that embarrassed to say, parent, I'm a ranger. I saved the city. I don't get that logic. I can under, are they, I don't, I don't get it. Odie knows who the hell they are. This is like the Raider Repulsive thing all over again. But yeah, they fix the submarine, the rangers grab it, ready to use it. They get attacked, and during this one moment when Calvin and Preston are trying to get the submarine into the water, Doomwave is charging at them for a moment thinking, yeah, Sarah, Haley, you're both close. He's running right between you two. You're holding their swords. Do this! For a suspense moment, but no. Brody and Levi jump in real quickly to do that moment. They get the submarine in the water. Sarah and Haley are piloting the submarine and they stop the device, winning that while Brody and Levi finishes off Doom Wave. And Levi even gets a selfie in, which it gets annoying after a while because we know it's Sentai footage for Levi to do the whole selfie thing. I'm just dating, it just gets annoying after a while. Then we got our giant monster, and because of the fact it's an aquatic monster, they don't have an aquatic zord for this. And looking at that exact moment, Mick made a ninja, the aquatic ninja star that they needed. He flings it, and it hits the submarine, which turns it gigantic. And then it has like an ult form where it's a surfer, and Levi decides, I want to get on this zord and surf around. Which, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not judging of this question the whole logic of everything. It's holding its ground, the rangers pull out their zord, combine the two zords together to have them make the zord go across the water. And then they do the whole gun, the finishing move, you know, that dumb gun thing, even though the zord's slashing. Which, even what it does is basically a surf slash. It just swims across the water and slashes Doomwave, beating them. Yeah, that's, that's how the whole battle went. Sarah and Haley 
go to apologize to their parents. Their parents basically know what the, they were messing around with the date. And they did talk about that the Rangers needed their help with the submarine, which they could at least put that together. What, they can't recognize their own kids' voices? And it comedically ended with Victor cheating by putting Monty in a fish costume, which the guy who was doing the contest just revealed it was Monty in a costume. And that's it. Like I said, this episode was clustered in so many ways. You could have removed Victor and Monty from this episode. And this is, you can't say you, you can't. You guys did holiday episodes and didn't involve the men. Well, I'll just count the Christmas one where Santa Claus mentioned the two, but they weren't showing. You could literally just have Victor and Monty removed from this episode. The whole fishing contest thing. For how I would have put it, would have been, the Rangers are at the beach because Haley's dad was excited to show what he created. A submarine to basically examine the beach water. It could have done the exact same thing, even shown him its net function, which, when he caught it, he caught the machine which caused the malfunction. That could have been the whole thing. That's how it could have set it all up. I mean, you guys literally just rushed in this aquatic Zord business, where the last time you guys needed a new Zord, the shuriken would basically get a foreshadowing of what that item was going to be. Like, you showed an elephant, you showed a UFO, you showed the lion... Spaceship. Yet the submarine doesn't get any credit. You could have done that or or something. You guys were like clustering so many goddamn ideas just to try to get the episode to work. Let's just move on to the yokai fact because funny enough, even though Doomwave is more of a forgetful enemy, his yokai fact is actually more interesting. The monster of the week, Doomwave, is based off the Umi Bozo, a large black gigantic creature that appears in the water. For most what people see is basically its head, its shoulders, and an arm at times. For what it does, the creature destroys the ships and drowns its victims. For how it does it, it could be either smashing the boat or grabbing a barrel off of the ship, filling it up with water and basically just filling the boat with water. How to usually outsmart this yokai when it does this is give it a hollow barrel. That way it can't fill up the barrel to try to drown you and you can try to escape. In popular culture, if you guys saw the Adventure Time Special Islands, the guardian that protects the human's island would be an example of the Umi Bozo. Every time a boat appears, it destroys it, but it doesn't drown its victims. All I can really say, this is Rasa signing out and... Did you forget Rasa? Fine then, let's finish this. Thank you for watching the channel. If you want to watch more, click on the annotation to see a previous video that has been made. Or if you want to keep up to the channel, subscribe to it. Till then.